Hi guys, uh, hope you are doing well. So today we are just uh, going to discuss and learn about a very interesting topic in success factors that is how to create custom workflow email template and how to uh, trigger email to a mass population of people or mass recipients. We'll check that today. So the points to discuss here first we'll discuss and see in the system how to create document generation template and what is its use in success factors. Then we'll check how to set custom template into workflow email configuration. Then the third step will be how to attach email template to workflow definition. Here email template means the custom email template which we are going to configure. And the last step will be how to trigger mass emails based on MDF value selection. Means uh, one custom MDF will create and based on the MDF values uh, selection and on save event will trigger mass uh, emails to mass recipients or mass, mass uh, employees. So let's uh, check it guys uh, to the system. So before that, uh, let me just tell you before these uh, workflow email customization, uh, uh, before actually uh, Q4 quarter of 2017, this feature was not uh, enabled in SF. Before that, uh, for CC roles, we always get this kind of standard template only workflow action cc role notification so only these standard template we can get or if we want to modify then we can modify it here but we we cannot uh, trigger that for a particular set of employees and the rest of the set of employees if we want to pick a different template we can do that because this template was a global one and it is getting triggered for all set of um, uh, recipients actually so, but now uh, SF introduced this feature of customization email uh, notification template and uh, we can do that. So, first step we need to create our custom template that is via uh, manage data document generation template so let's uh, create one template here let's put one template id as 200 and starting date 01011900 template name let's say we are going to trigger this uh, notification to mass set of uh, employees for system software upgrade notification so let's put the name as uh, software upgrade We are not putting any country specific uh, template here. Uh, English uh, should be the language. English US. Status is active and template content. So we can write down our notification uh, here actually. Hi. So within brackets, I am writing down the tokens and uh, we can map these tokens to a difference field as well I'll show that after this Oops. 
second so this would be our uh, notification body uh, category this should be always workflow because we are going to trigger this notification via workflow only and then email subject should be software upgrade notification here we need to create one group what is the utilization of group you can come to know when we will proceed group name is Here also the category should be workflow set. Okay, update and we are saving our template. So now the second step is whatever the tokens we have uh, written here like name generic date one initiator those are within throat uh, brackets you can see uh, those will be the dynamic value those will be populated uh, during runtime and you can see those values in your uh, email body so, uh, now we need to create the reference of these uh, tokens how to do that let's uh, go to manage data again here within uh, sorry it is not managed data it is document it is separate tool document generation manage document template mapping this option you need to go there So here in the drop down we can see software upgrade this template we just created now. So here three tokens we have created which is populating here. So we are choosing the reference. The name should be created user, uh, not yet user, the name should be the recipient user. So recipient name. and initiator should be created user and generic date this one should be as per rule let's see what rules are available we are choosing current date for document so saving our configuration you can create our custom rule as well and you can assign it here as well so now referencing is also done now we need to create our workflow email notification custom setting let's go here manage workflow email notification here you need to create our own configuration software upgrade so here you can see the standard templates are available for option uh, like workflow initiated current approval contributor all standard templates are available uh, workflow approved standard templates are available so 
here we can change the standard templates to our own customized customized templates as well how to do that so let's setting off the initiated part and we want only when workflow getting approved then our software upgrade the standard template is going to be triggered for initiator for interactable and contributor for all now saving these settings you can see, see uh, software upgrade these uh, settings is available for now now we need to create one workflow for our email notification template manage organization p and job structure workflow workflow id should be software upgrade Here the approver I am setting as role and uh, approver I am putting as self only and email configuration software upgrade which we just created via custom workflow email configuration and we also want these uh, workflow need to be triggered for a mass set of employee so uh, let's choose dynamic group within dynamic group we have already created one uh, or let's create one uh, dynamic group also go there create one group group name should be software great uh, criteria I'm choosing department so within the department I'm choosing one department uh, update how many percent? 10 percent are available. Done. So here you see software upgrade. Uh, 10 members are available. Out of 10 members, one member uh, is Maria Dubova. Uh, so for this user, we have already set the email ID as our own Gmail ID so that we can check uh, what kind of emails are getting triggered. So for this person, Maria Dudova, we have already changed the email address to our own email address. Close. So let's go to we have to refresh our page.
So repeating the same stage, uh, steps here. So after updating the email configuration, MCC role, then make group. Skip key, software update, and group template, software update as well. What we have saved. So saving it. Now, our uh, email template, custom email template is ready. Uh, within custom email template, the token reference is also ready. We have created our own workflow email uh, configuration and we also created our workflow and assigned the own custom workflow email configuration within this uh, workflow. Now we need to trigger this workflow. How to trigger this workflow? Uh, we have already created one uh, custom object notification cost notification trigger one custom object we have already created so here uh, one field is uh, we have added custom field uh, that field is peak list based so our target is within this peak list as right now we can see system down one value is there we need to add another value uh, software update similarly uh, and based on this value we will create one business rule uh, actually we have already created one business rule we just upgrade that business rule and when we uh, choose our system uh, software upgrade value within this peak list and save it during the save the workflow should trigger so that is our motto so let's see that and uh, after triggering this uh, workflow the email notification should be sent in this email box right now it is empty uh, so let's add our new pick list value here go to configure object definition go to configure object definition to go to pick list and choose that pick list notification notification pick list pick action and add a new value yes external code the name is software upgrade value is added now check name is data now pick list is working so we, now we need to upgrade our business rule so let's go there
so this business rule we have already created now we need to add or extend this business rule Sales report notification software update which if the notification is software update then set workflow software update. So now the configuration is done and this rule as you already told let's check it again as well As you see, this rule is triggered based on the save. So when you save this value, then only this rule will trigger. Let's check it. So system update, I'm choosing save. Now it accept. Let's check in our inbox. Yeah one mail from here and that user Maria Durova and we are getting our custom email notification so similarly I also uh, created another one uh, that is a system down so similar uh, functionality is also configured behind this so just uh, if I uh, just check the purpose if I select this notification and save it I should receive one email on the system downtime which I'm saving it again and check my inbox again yes new email comes system downtime noti notification so guys this is how we can uh, customize, uh, customize the workflow email uh, templates and we can trigger that via MDF to MERS uh, set of employees as well. So hope you enjoyed this video and something new we have learned. Uh, so keep watching and happy learning. Thank you.